And it's five minutes past three on Radio Fremantle 107.9 and that, of course, was Sia and Cheap Thrills and before that, The Weekend and Save Your Tears. And I'm so thrilled to, me, to welcome our um, second very special guest today, Hawa Ridwani, who our regular listeners will be very familiar with. Hawa is our resident sustainability guru and a recent article that popped into my inbox really piqued my interest and I asked if Hawa would be happy to chat with us about it today. Hawa, thanks so much for making time to chat with me. Hi, Kate. Thanks for having me. It's my absolute pleasure. The article that I was talking about was the recent uh, marriage of Boris Johnson, who is the Prime Minister of Britain, and the article was published on the 2nd of June. And it was really it was really focused on his now wife, Carrie Simmons, who rented her wedding dress. And that was the whole point behind it. And they had quite a long conversation or discussion in the piece about the growth in rental and how that's really become one of the kind of key, um, I suppose, elements, key sort of pieces of the sustainable fashion market. Is that something you're seeing a lot more of, Hawa? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's quite interesting to see sort of like the evolution of fashion um, when it comes to sustainability over the last uh, several decades. Um, when you compare it to how things were sort of like in like the 50s and the 60s where uh, everything was sort of uh, tailor-made, people would actually take fabrics to a tailor and have it tailor-made. Um, and then obviously in, in in recent years, we've seen like the rise of fast fashion with, you know, brands like H&M and, and Zara where, you know, people tend to buy a lot of stuff that um, is great and it's cheap, but it doesn't necessarily uh, like last for a very long time. Um, so I think recently, like as you've mentioned, the the rise of like rentable fashion is something that we're seeing a lot more of. Um, people are, as you've mentioned, like renting you know wedding dresses, but also I've also seen people rent accessories as well, which I think is such an interesting idea because sometimes if you want to go to a party, for example, uh, you'll you'll have like the perfect dress that you want to wear, but then you want to Sometimes maybe, I guess, glitz it up a bit with like a really nice, uh, with a nice bag. But um, obviously, you know, wearing clutches and stuff like that, while it's nice having those things, you don't necessarily want to invest a lot of money in those because mm. it's super expensive. Um, so I've actually seen people actually rent out like luxury bags and luxury clutches that you can rent for like a day or two just for your event and then you return it. Mm. So that, I think it's quite innovative. It is. Um, it is. It's. Yeah. I was really struck because I think this kind of grabbed my attention because I also had a friend who recently turned 21 and when it, mm -hmm. it's a good friend of mine's daughter and we were looking at the photos and I said, oh gosh, her outfit's just fantastic, you know, and she went, oh yeah, she rented it. And oh, so I was... Good. And I was so so struck by that. I thought when I was 21 and when I was that age, you know, we were still in the age of we would make our things or we'd go and find a pattern we liked and and yeah. and buy expensive fabric. And, you know, it was I, – I wouldn't have even dawned on me the idea of mm -hmm. not having something either new or not new from a shop necessarily because luckily for me my mum was a good sewer, but just something yeah. – something special for the occasion that I owned and that idea yeah. that you don't own it and that we're okay with that, I think is quite a leap forward. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I feel like, um, one of my, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, like, uh, not cause we're on like this topic of like, you know, going to the 21st and having a really special dress. One of the things that one of my favorite YouTubers does is she actually rents clothes before she goes away on vacation, which I thought was quite interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. Cause like, and when she went on vacation, like all of her pictures and her clothes just looked absolutely amazing. And later on, she actually said that she actually, she actually rented them. And I thought that was brilliant because, you know, sometimes you, when you go on vacation and you want to feel like your absolute best, um, it's kind of nice to know that you can actually rent clothes and take it away on vacation. And you have these beautiful shots at these beautiful locations in dresses that you can actually rent. I think that's so 
fascinating and that was something that they raised in this article that the actually the pandemic didn't put a dent in rental at all in fact it started the process of people becoming a bit more um, aware and even though people were not not going out necessarily they were still what did they call it it was that a particular expression about what they called it when they're kind of statement dressing even if they're not going out for it like it would be a, a birthday party or something like that so they and cleaning out what they've observed is that people cleaning out wardrobes actually has helped too because they sort of are, are better at understanding well, what clothes they need and what they don't need. Yeah. Um, I'm quite inspired by that holiday idea because I know myself that I often, often the clothes I take on holidays, especially if I'm going to a, cl- a different climate, are clothes that I normally would not yeah. wear otherwise. Yeah. And it's a great idea to think about, you know, a few special things that you can rent and then just return them. Yeah, because I think, like, um, I'm very in line with, like, what you're saying because I feel like with um, with, with renting clothes, the beauty about it is that it's it's one of those things that you can do for, like, one-off occasions. Like, the one that always comes to mind for me is when you go to dress-up parties. I go to dress-up parties, I think, probably once every couple of months and I feel like I don't go to them enough to justify owning enough costumes. Yeah. Um, and especially in Perth where I swear everybody has a dress-up party all the time. <laughs> um, it's so useful to be able to rent them because it, it means that, and especially when the themes are so different um, with every single friend that I have that's hosting a dress-up party, it means that you don't have to just buy a one-off costume and then not be able to reuse it for another Party, so you're kind of reducing waste in your closet by being able to rent a costume that's suited to that particular occasion. Mm, mm. Which is really yeah, the so. same as which is really the same as other special other special occasions, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, like like a wedding dress. To be honest, like I think as much as I would probably like like the sentimentality of actually owning my wedding dress, I would also be completely fine renting it because then it's just going to sit in my closet. What am I going to do with it? Well, I I was really struck by this little, you know, the economising of this because the dress that Carrie Simmons, now Johnson, I should say, wore, which I thought was absolutely beautiful, was an embroidered tulle gown, the work of Greek luxury designer Christos Kostarelos. Like, I would never be able to afford this dress in real life. It cost her £45 to rent, but it would have cost 2,870 sorry, 2,870 pounds to purchase. Oh, which is yeah. about fifteen hundred pounds more than the average wedding dress in the UK in two thousand and nineteen. So still low, like even yeah. if you were spending the average amount of money, and this is all in UK money, but still, if you're spending yeah. the average, it's twice as much as the average, and yeah. that's still a heap of money. And for forty five pounds, yeah. she's got the most absolutely beautiful dress that you know designer and that other people can use too and enjoy. Yeah pounds that she didn't spend on purchasing the dress can go towards like a vacation or goodness knows what else like yeah i i think in terms of like saving money but also how much waste you're reducing in the process i think sustainable like in from a sustainable perspective being able to rent your clothes is actually a really good way to go about things i think moving forward well i think it seems to be also very much um you know rental companies are not going to be able to rent clothes that don't have have good are not good quality so it's as well it's going to hopefully support quality and support good good you know good fashion practices of good fabric and and well manufactured i i note here that as well there was a um they quoted there's a rent there's a rental firm in the u.s called rent the runway um oh my gosh i have heard of that have you so they yeah, they they quote that twenty percent of the retail market market will be rental by twenty twenty five. Oh, yeah, that'll be amazing. I, I just think it's a it's a sort of a mental thing as well. You know, I look at Carrie Simmons, who's you know probably a more well off person than the rest of us, mm. and she you know at the same time as she rented her wedding dress, it was kind of a scandal in the UK because they'd spent her and Boris Johnson had spent a fortune um, renovating the apartment 
where they mm. live in London at taxpayers' expense. So there was all this yep. sort of scandal about that. So, you know, on one side of her life, she's really great at economising and on the other side, maybe not so much. But it's not it's not so much that. It's just that interesting idea that actually the you don't need to own the luxury clothes. It's okay. Yep. So even someone who's well off who could afford to probably buy it, there's no added bonus or sort of cachet associated with the owning of it. It just makes yeah. sense to be able to rent it, which yeah. I think is quite fantastic, actually. Yeah, because I think, like, especially with weddings, it's such like, like, weddings are a billion-dollar industry, and, you know, it creates so much waste in, in terms of, like, people having to, to buy stuff, like bridesmaids, for example. Like, I know that the one time that I was a bridesmaid, I bought, like, multiple dresses, um, to be able to, to suit the theme because I wasn't really sure what to wear. But imagine if I had rented it. Like sometimes I think about the fact that if I had just rented the dress, I could have saved myself a lot of stress and a lot of time knowing that I would have been able to pick a dress that would have been suitable for the occasion and I would have just rented it for, for like a one-off time type thing and then like that's it. I don't have to keep it in my wardrobe anytime soon because the amount of times that you hear bridesmaids who buy dresses and they think, I'll be able to wear that again. But yeah, then, no. do they ever? Yeah. I think it's a really excellent idea, especially for bridesmaids' dresses. I feel really happy about this because my sister was going to get married last year, which, of course, all just fell through. Uh, well, not fell through because they don't want to get married, but just, you know, people couldn't attend. So they've just postponed for the moment. Yeah. Um, but I yeah. think it's going to mean that the choice for bridesmaids' dresses might be, I'm, I'm going to have a little conversation about could we please rent? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think that's a great idea, to be honest. Well, thank you so much, Hawa. I'm um, just briefly and on a side note, I'd like to recommend to our listeners, if you've um, made the um, pilgrimage to Hawa's YouTube channel, <laughs> which is Hara Wid- Ridwani, which is R I D H W A N I, her most um, recent. A recent um, video, which is Pandemic Pause, is absolutely wonderful and I just want to compliment you on it, How I found it really reassuring and full of great tips and um, just absolutely excellent. So congrats and I see that you're getting quite a lot of followers now. So I'm glad to know that us here at Weekend in Review were, were early on followers of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kate. I hope um, I hope we'll be able to chat a little bit more next month. Um, yeah, about some some excellent videos I've got coming up. Excellent. That's great, Hawa. I hope you have a uh, wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.